Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Ready Precision. In this video, we are taking a look at Honeywell's new connected power system. Uh, we've got a outlet here, one of their 20 amp uh, outlets, as well as the hub that you'll need uh, in order to bring all of your outlets back into Niagara so that you can monitor them and control them as well because that functionality is all built into the outlet itself. So let's open up these boxes and take a look. All right, so let's start off here with one of the 20 amp outlets. As you can see, there is a 20 amp as well as a 15 amp version of the outlets that's available. And on the front, you can see a little bit more details about uh, what Honeywell is thinking that you're gonna use these things for. Uh, they do do energy uh, monitoring for each individual outlet on the receptacle and you have full control over those receptacles as well from uh, your Niagara station if you were to bring it into something like Niagara. Um, you'll notice the Bluetooth logo on here. Uh, you might be a little bit confused at first, like I was, thinking, um, I thought these were mesh devices, Bluetooth, mesh, not really much of a thing. Um, well, it turns out they're using Bluetooth only for commissioning, and then they have a special radio inside these that is going to be used for the actual mesh communication between the devices themselves and our hub once that initial configuration is all done. So the outlets as well as the hub all have that Bluetooth low energy in order to make your life a little bit easier when you're setting up these devices. So let's open this up. First thing you'll see inside is the usual quick start guide. We've got a digital form of this too. So uh, don't be too uh, worried if you lose this. And then inside we've got a plate for these because these use like the uh, sort of clip-on style plates. And then we've got the outlet itself. And there's nothing else in here, so I'll throw this aside. Outlet itself, and what you'll notice is that you've got a QR code on here. That's what you're going to be using for your uh, Bluetooth low energy setup from the Honeywell uh, Connected Power app that you'll use to initially set this up. Then you've got additional uh, additional copies of those QR codes and little stickers that you can peel off as well. And then on the outlet itself, you'll notice that it mentions on both of the uh, receptacles that it, they are controlled and that you have a button here for each of the individual receptacles to turn them on and off if you wanted to, but you also have the ability to lock these on and off as well. And then there is a button here on the side which is hidden underneath the wall plate under normal operation uh, that lets you reset or restart the outlet itself because again, these are, these are basically computers, so uh, there could be a chance that you might need to reboot them because they say froze up or something along those lines. So that is basically the outlet uh, sort of standard situation here for the back and our screw terminals to uh, hook up our power. So let's jump over now into the hub. So same sort of deal here with the hub. Um, same icons and pieces of information on the hub as you had on the box for the outlets. And again, we see that Bluetooth uh, symbol there because we're going to be using that for our initial setup. And we've got another quick start guide. And again, we have a digital form of this that we're going to be putting up on BP Tech Center if you wanted to have a look. And then inside, we have the hub itself. Get it out. And a plate for mounting it on the wall. And some screws for that plate. So we'll put the plate to the side. That's kind of not very interesting. And we'll look at the hub itself. Kind of simple beige box. We've got our QR codes again for our simple Bluetooth setup from their app. 
And then on the back, we have a little area where we're going to plug in our Ethernet to get us uh, onto a network so that we could talk to a JACE or a station. And then we have our power. Interesting thing about this is it wants to use line voltage, which I was not expecting. If you're if you're at all used to something like the Lutron Caseta stuff, uh, that uses a power supply um, for getting lower voltage into the uh, hub itself. Whereas this, I'm assuming because they're thinking this is more for commercial applications, uh, is going to be just line voltage that goes in, and then you could wall mount this using the included bracket to make that happen. So that is a quick look at the hardware side of the new Honeywell Connected Power devices and smart outlets. We'll have a deeper dive into the initial setup using the app for it, as well as bringing those points and things into Niagara. A uh, pretty simple setup process, uh, both from the app side as well as Niagara side, because Honeywell has created a template that you can use to create a new station, as well as simplified the process to just quickly learn a network that you might have all set up already in a hub. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in the connected hub stuff at all, be sure to check us out at birdieprecision.com or store.birdieprecision.com where you can get in touch with one of our sales guys and they can uh, help you out in getting some of these on order if it's something that you're interested in. Otherwise, like and subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them down below, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.